Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, joined by Matt Velazquez, and we are here to preview Game Five of the Bucks Raptors Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, should be an interesting game. They are back at home for the first time in a couple games. They're on the road in Toronto, and it was a little rough for the team. Eric Bledsoe, namely, had 11 points Game Three, five points in Game Four. It's been a rough couple of games for him. What needs to turn around for him tonight? I mean, the thing is, is that he he looks like his confidence is shaking. Uh, a lot and not just a little bit um, it, it's been a rough series for him uh, he's not the best shooter on the Bucks, but he hasn't been as poor as he's been th like this series uh, this series he's two of 19 on threes one of 14 on wide open threes and the Raptors are gonna give, a, give him every shot possible they don't care if he shoots uh, he's forced a couple early long jumpers uh, in the shot clock uh, and just really doesn't have that, that flow, that rhythm that he's had during the regular season. I think when it comes to his drives, too, since they're sagging so far off of him, he's just running into so many bodies. And so he, he's played generally good defense, um, so he has continued to play well on that end. But it's hard to keep him on the floor with the way that he has not produced offensively. So the Raptors bench had a pretty phenomenal game for Bucks bench, on the other hand, it was a little bit lacking. What can being at home do for the confidence of some of those guys? Yeah, usually role players tend to play better at home. I mean, we saw that from the Bucks bench early on in the series. We saw that, you know, a little bit that they traveled in, in game three, that the, like Malcolm Brogdon and George Hill, they were the reasons why the Bucks were in that game that, that they lost in double overtime. Um, so I think that getting back home, being able to be in kind of like friendly, familiar confines, maybe you shoot a little bit better, get that confidence going earlier, and maybe that can kind of continue throughout the game. All right, everyone, make sure you're checking out the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel online and, of course, in the paper for all of Matt's stories, for Lori Nichols' stories, for Ben Steele's stories. And, of course, make sure you're checking us out online as well for all of my videos post game. We'll have uh, some more up for you there as well. Follow us on social media for tons of updates. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.